Welcome Taurus to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. This is uh, Madeline and today I would like to uh, give a reading for the week of October 11 through 17. So this is for uh, the uh, zodiac sign of Zora, of Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus for um, October 11 and that week. And this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, um, you know, that's okay. There may be another um, video that does more. So take a look around at the different um, titles. Also, um, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. So let's all work toward that goal. And our, um, please make uh, comments or anything, especially if something resonates with you. So first, uh, let's ask for guidance. All right, so I would start with the um, angels and ancestors, ancestors oracle deck. And let's take a look for this week, uh, kind of the uh, emphasis of the angel, ancestor, other types of spirit animals that may be uh, directing you um, this week as you uh, deal with the energies of your life. Okay. So it's uh, spring. And we have uh, just started to enter fall here in the spring in the uh, southern hemisphere. And we can see there's kind of a lavender, a uh, bunny rabbit, kind of like hopping into spring. So Taurus says, see your seeds grow. So as we've gone through the summer, uh, seeds have been planted in our lives and in others' lives. And so now we're looking for the uh, growth to occur um, in our in our lives. And also uh, seeing the uh, lavender mixed with the uh, rabbit, you know, the rabbit kind of uh, rushes forward. It's always uh, prepared for danger and also has a sense of fertility. And the uh, lavender has the, the sense of uh, quiet, calm, uh, sleepy, sleepiness so we may have a uh, the the lavender might keep the rabbit from winning its race right because it stops and it rests and then it goes again and what do you know the turtle uh, wins in the in the end and so um we don't want to get distracted uh this week by things that would um kind of get us in the way of accomplishing our goal so let's take a look at, you might want to think about some of the distractions that you may have in your life. Um, you know, it could be places, people, things, uh, ideas, uh, things that are kind of distracting you from the path that you feel like you should be taking. So let's take a look at the tarot for this week. Uh, we have the uh, Llewellyn deck. So down below are all the different decks that I use. Uh, feel free to um, take a look at those and see if anything, if you're drawn to any of these decks. And this is one of, this was my first deck and I still find it's very, very meaningful to me, the Llewellyn Tarot. Okay, let's take a look at, first at the uh, situation for the week, Taurus. All right. So the situation is the Ace of Cups. That's a beautiful um, thing to have in your center. This week, uh, love overflowing in your life. And the, the foundation for you is the Seven of Pentacles. I've seen that one. In, it was in the had in the, uh, I think it was the Gemini reading, or the Libra, and uh, so it might be some correspondence between these uh, two readings, but 
The Seven of Pentacles is here as your foundation, your support. Uh, that, And then the uh, Four of Pentacles is the thing that will help you, the benefit this week. Um, up in your head, the uh, Nine of Swords. And the outcome, the Eight of Pentacles. So we're going from the Seven to the Eight of Pentacles. So we're moving uh, through through the pentacles now the underneath of the deck is the two of wands and the the two of wands then is the kind of the message from your higher self from your unconscious kind of something that you may not be aware of and so she's she's looking here into this uh crystal ball it's kind of a, a yellowish um, stone so it might be like a citrine or something like that it has a lot of energy and passion so does the sun a lot of energy um, but at the same time she's standing in kind of like a tower uh, looking out and the sun is starting to uh, set starting to lower in the sky uh, looking through this ball kind of at the future it kind of makes me think of Oh, um, you know, standing in a tower like that, holding out, it's kind of like a, the wizard of the tower, um, bringing forth the uh, power of the, of the evening. So during this week, um, you may find a lot of uh, power and insight in the sunsets. You may take as much time as you can to uh, watch a sunset, spend a little time in uh, meditation um, on the the sun and the uh, strength that it gives to us. And then the two wands in this card, I just haven't noticed they're quite different lengths. There's a really tall one and a really short one. And so it's kind of like they are balancing each other out um, in the sense that, you know, there's the the tall and the short, um, you know, the more fat and the thin. Um, and a, a lot of times the, the two of wands are uh, intuition and manifestation. So maybe that you are doing one better than the other this week. And to kind of pull, be able to follow your heart um, into this uh, energy of the week and also to uh, manifest those things um, into reality, our reality. So the um, Ace of Cups in the, the, the center and the situation has, um, you know, it's flowing down all of this uh, love and this, this new a new joy coming into your life. And in this case, I kind of am noticing those uh, water lilies underneath. And, you know, water lilies are very uh, spiritual um, flowers. And the reason they're so spiritual is they start down in the muck and the mud. They come up through the dark night of the soul into the sunlight. And so as this uh, love and... Um, positive energy flows into your life. Um, it will be uh, washing away the darkness and bringing out um, the beauty of the flowers all around you. And this is something that you've been waiting for. The patience card has been a long time coming, but we're coming into the time of the harvest. And as we're coming into the harvest, so you know, the spring is telling you, you planted the seeds and the harvest is saying, now we're ready to reap this crop. And uh, it's quite a few pentacles here. And this uh, third pentacle card, the, the four of pentacles, you know, he's, he really has all that he needs as he sits there. And um, it's kind of, he's not looking at a lot of it. He's not really looking at the city, but it could be that he's kind of turned his back on all of those um, big uh, gaudy things. And he's looking more for just this 
this true um what things in your life do you have as a strong value so as this uh, love and and uh, joyful energy flows into your heart, it'll be uh, filled up with lots of uh, good things, and you really will have you know the security and all of the you need. And so the the Nine of Swords um, often points to you know depression, sadness, despair. Um, I think also in this card, because she's uh, sitting up in bed, she may have had a nightmare or a hard time in her dream. And so it could be that during this week, you'll be facing um, some nightmares and some uh, difficult times at night. It's not sleeping well and having some of those energies. So remember to be uh, patient and to keep, uh, manifesting for yourself these positive things during those times and as you do that the outcome is really this you know this sitting down working hard and uh, having a great um, energy along that path she has a bird and a, f a couple of birds few birds and a cat and other things uh, sitting around um, singing to her, talking to her while she works. And so it's a very uh, pleasant atmosphere, productive and ple pleasant environment. So I think as this uh, love, you know, flows into your life and washes away the darkness, you'll be led to this um, Eight of Pentacles, this true sense of uh, prosperity and happiness in that. So there aren't any uh, major arcana cards here. So in the extended, um, definitely I'll talk about, you know, some of the blocks and those kind of things. And then since there's quite a few pentacles and then this, uh, the center is the Ace of Cups, I'll do um, a reading on water signs and also on earth signs and kind of uh, see where that leads. So come on over uh, to the extended for continuation of the uh, reading and a deeper understanding and uh, look at the hopes, blocks, and fears. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share the video with your friends, Taurus, and we will um, talk to you soon. The uh, link for the extended is below.